It's going to be here before we know it, Oh, sadly. my God. I know. Summer's, like, almost over. I feel like it started late because of the weather. I mean, it started on time if we're going to go by numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It definitely started when it was supposed to, but <laughs> it didn't feel like it. Like, I feel like I forgot I had, um. do you know Chase uh, O'Donnell? Yeah. A blonde. I think so. uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Really of course, yeah. amazing. Yeah. She does the um those videos where she's doing a musical and yeah. then it cuts to like, yeah real life. That's I cool. love those. Yeah. Those so are much. funny. I had her on and I was like, "This is the summertime episode." Yeah. And She's like, "Summer's in a month." <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> we were in bikinis over our shirts and like sunglasses, and I really thought, I thought it was summer. Yeah. No, it's not. I mean, now it is, but <laughs> I always judge my summer based on how many times I go to the beach. Yes. And I never go to the beach. <laughs> so summer's really hard for me. I'm always very defeated because I, uh, I went to the beach for the first time this summer last week. Okay. And I looked at my sketch and I'm not going to be able to make it happen again. <laughs> I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> You beat us. We haven't been yet this summer. Ugh, you guys haven't had a summer then. I know summer hasn't started. What is, that's so stupid. <laughs> but it does feel like that. There's like this pressure. Get to the beach. Yes. But there shouldn't be pressure in L.A. because we are, you know, you could go to the beach like, oh, you know, many, many months out of the year. <laughs> many, many months. Many, many, many months. There are many, many months you can go to the beach. In New Jersey, where I'm from, I, I get that, you know, the summer you have to get there mm. because there's no other time, but. It's just ingrained in us. Uh, you're from New Jersey? Nope. Right. <laughs> but, okay. you know, at heart. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I'm from Florida, so also okay. always summer. Yeah, always summer. Humid. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Um, I'm never good at introducing, so no offending everybody. Hello, hey. <laughs> do uh, your wife and you, do your wife and I, do your wife, do you and your wife. Yep. Nailed it. Do you <laughs> and your wife uh, introduce your, each other on your podcast? Uh, no, we kind of just get into it. <laughs> we kind of just assume, we really want to drop people into, be, like truly into the conversation. So we kind of just start and then we, uh, there'll be like 30 seconds to a minute like cold open or whatever mm -hmm. and then she says okay i'm going to sleep and then i say no can we please talk a little more Aww. and then we like cut to our main theme and then it starts yeah i love that so much yeah, what yeah. is the name of it the I bedtime think. podcast the bedtime podcast yeah. make sure to check it out you guys i looked you're on like episode you've done three so far uh we've done 25 why That's... was there only three on on the audio on what apple I don't know. Or was it my U the YouTube? Maybe I looked on YouTube. Yeah, because we were posting to my YouTube for a bit, oh, okay, and then I made it, another. Got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, I yeah, thought yeah. Is that, but I was like, well, well. Um, actually, no, we've done twenty five. <laughs> I'm, I'm. Do your research. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my own apartment right now. <laughs> I'm taking over your pod. <laughs> Invite Misery your wife over. You, they're exchangeable, so you can just. Uh, yeah, I think. Change your name. My name's in there. I could get my name in there. Yeah, you can figure it yeah. out. There's the bag. All right, well, see you guys later. <laughs> 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 oh, man. It's hot today. I'm like, I just put the air down, so we'll get chilly soon, but whew, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. smart wearing the shorts. I chose corduroy, which is like a really bad idea. Yeah, well, what's cool about your studio is you have central AC in here, right? I know. Yeah. My last apartment, I couldn't put the AC on during the episodes. Yeah, we have that problem. <laughs> So it just can be, luckily it's usually at night. Um, sometimes we'll, you know, record if we're busy, like in another time, but we try to pick times that are cool, but mm -hmm. some, it just gets hot <laughs> and it's really, but this is great. So yeah, we'll cool, we'll cool down in a second. We got our Fiji. Yeah. Not sponsored. <clears throat> not sponsored. Not, not sponsored at all. 
We but do that too on our pod. You're not sponsored sponsors? <laughs> yeah, we <we'll> drink. Because <laughs> I've been obsessed with uh, Lagunitas hop water. Ooh. Have you had it? No, I've looked into it. Okay, so that's like an alternative to beer. It's non alcoholic. It's a non alcoholic beverage, but it really is just seltzer. Like it's, mm-hmm. it's, it, it's funny that it is like a, yeah, an alternative to alcohol, but it's really not. <laughs> like if you drink it, you're like, I mean, it has the slightest taste of beer, but it's just like the hop. But it okay. really, oh, I love it. It's so refreshing. But every time I get it at Trader Joe's, I get carded. And I'm always like, this is non-alcoholic. It's like when you get a kombucha and they and they card you. But you're like, it's Does not even happen? the black bottle. Because the black bottle kombuchas, they have alcohol in them, so they'll card you. Oh, yeah. But they Man. still... Wait, but are there like benefits to that? Health benefits? To like the hop water? Or like effects like alcohol would give you like calming or no benefits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. It's just it's just like I mean does Lacroix or you know um, Spindrift have benefits? You look cool. Yeah, I would say you look pretty cool. Okay. You know what? I'll say this is a benefit. It the can looks like a beer can. Okay. It does look like because it has Lagunitas <laughs> on it, and I think that's just synonymous with mm-hmm. beer. And sometimes I'll be drinking on the street and pretend I'm drunk. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, people approach and they're like, what's going on with this guy? I'll, I'll, I'll even at Trader Joe's, I'll, op- I'll open them up in Trader Joe's and start drinking it. <laughs> and you get weird looks. <laughs> the other day I showed up, sit, my wife works at a, ugh, I've mentioned her too many times. No, mention her all you want. Um, her name's Sydney. Sydney, yeah, okay. yeah. She works at the climbing gym, okay. gym Hollywood okay. Boulders. Not not a sponsor of the show, but they're sponsor. They're my sponsor. Yeah, I um, love to climb. Do you? I love to climb life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've gone once though. Okay, it okay. was it was hard. Yeah, it's hard. But she she was working the front desk there, <laughs> and I was coming to climb, and I had one of those in my in my hand, and I showed up, and I was like. You know, all of her, all of your employees are at the desk, and I showed up. I'm like, today's not going well for me, fellas. You guys know what I'm talking. About. And they really all thought I was drunk. Really? Yeah, because it looks, it really does look like a beer can. Um, okay, I'm gonna uh, have to get some next episode. I'm gonna have some. It's really good. Yeah, have yeah, have it for next episode. But make sure you plug me. I will. Yeah, I'm plug gonna it, say, plugging it. Sponsored by Noah. He said there's no benefits, but you look really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the new liquid death yeah it's the same idea mm-hmm. but liquid death i don't like the water i first of all <laughs> i first of all <laughs> first of all <laughs> everyone buckle up because yeah. first of all big point I, i've never been a fan of i had to adjust to water coming from a can yeah and a box in the box get that out of here yeah but you can't have the water in the plastic because it gets inside your body Oh no! Microplastics. Come on, Are you we know that. Drinking those? No, it's I fine. I thought it was only if it's like in the car overnight. Yeah, I think that I think if it's you know put in heat, that really makes it worse. I'm not uncomfortable by this. You don't mind that I <laughs> microwaved it first? <laughs> oh, you did do that. Okay, that's that's just weird. I don't. Under- How did it stay so cold? I think you need a new microwave. <laughs> Oh, yeah. technology these days. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm happy you brought up that because I have a funny story that had to do with all of these non-alcoholic alcohol drinks. Mm-hmm. So I'm a huge fan of Celsius's. Uh-huh. Even though they- It's ne- actually Celsius. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Coachella? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. uh, I'm a big fan of Celsius. <laughs> and even though I don't think they ever give me the caffeine boost I want. Really? No. But I'm like a caffeine addict, so I need like a lot. It has 200 milligrams of caffeine. Nothing. That's not enough. So I'll drink it for funsies. Oh, my I God. I love the taste. It does taste good. Tastes good. And I think it gives me like a mental high. Yeah, it's refreshing. Yeah. So. A mental high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, if like you get like a placebo effect. Okay, okay, okay. But maybe it's just the caffeine. Maybe. I mean, it, <laughs> it's not placebo. There's definitely caffeine in it. So it seems like it would. If you are feeling something, it's working. A rep is listening and they're like, it's it's our drink. Yeah. Why are you not giving <laughs> it the credit it deserves? So you get energy from it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not from the drink. It's weird. When I drink Celsius, I feel <laughs> like I have more energy. But that must be placebo. But 
<laughs> definitely mm. not the caffeine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess like I want to feel more cracked out from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you like, want more. I want more. Okay. Which they do make a Celsius. <laughs> yeah. Celsius heat. And that shit. Woo! How much? How much caffeine's in that? I think it's like double. God damn. I'm like. <laughs> I love it. Um, um, do you and you drink coffee? Oh yeah. How much coffee do you drink? I only like three cups a day. Yeah, I'm I'm about I'm about two to three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely two. Sometimes three if I'm like working late at night. Yeah, the nighttime one. I've been trying to add some tea into my life. Ooh, caffeinated. Yes. Yorkshire. No. Yorkshire Gold. Is that the best tea? <laughs> well, so and PG Tips. These are English teas. Oh, they, so they must be good. They're really good. They're really caffeinated, oh. but they're not as caffeinated as coffee. But I, if you're... I burped. Matt's constantly burping into the mic, so yeah. please feel free to burp. Well, they're no, I don't want to ruin your sound. I know how it works. Oh, no, no. We <laughs> save the burps. You can you can burp. You can fart. You don't cut As em. long as it's not stinky, that's staying. Okay. So if it's stinky, it's being it's cut. It's being cut. Okay, because they can smell it. I don't want them to smell it. Okay. It's, it's not, I don't want it for you. This is a 4D podcast. Yeah, that's why I got the second camera. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, that one has the <laughs> smell sensor on it. <laughs> uh, um, but what was I talking about? The, the caf- tea. The tea, yeah. If you're trying to like have less coffee, mm. but you know, I get caffeine headaches, you throw oh, one of those yeah. in instead of, you know, do two coffees and then, but honestly, I, I'm not trying to have less coffee. It's only when it's really hot. Sometimes I'm not craving it. Even yeah. in iced coffee, I'm like, I need something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the Celsius. I need a Celsius. It's that's, fruity. That's when that, that fruity bitch comes into play. Yeah. So yeah. this is what happened with my Celsius. Okay. I um, I was getting over a, like a cold and my steroids, I was not, ta- they gave me steroids and antibiotics. I didn't take the steroids. He's like, you could take these. It'll make you feel better. But um, also you'll be like really depressed and stuff. So I was like, oh, I just, I didn't take them. So I'm on antibiotics. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go to the gym for the first time, like almost like on day nine or 10, like the last day of the antibiotics. And I'm like, okay, I'm starting to feel better. Um, I grab a Celsius out of the fridge and I take my antibiotic and I leave for the gym. My whole drive to the gym, I'm like, I know I did a COVID test, but my, my taste buds are so off. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I just, this doesn't taste good. Cause I said, I love the taste of Celsius. I was the Arctic, it was a blue one, the Arctic vibe, which is my favorite. <laughs> a little, it tastes like a blue, you know, a blue freaking Jolly Rancher. And I'm like, this tastes like shit. So yeah. I pull up to the gym and I'm on the phone with my brother. And I'm like, Ryan, my taste buds are like really off. I was like, this is weird. I this is not good. I hope it wasn't COVID because they just did the rapid test. Yeah. And then I realized this whole time I was drinking a truly. <laughs> <laughs> you looked at the can? I mean, I, I grabbed it because Audrey came over. She had two trulies, one for her, and she put another one in the fridge. And I was like, I can't drink it. I'm on antibiotics. Didn't realize it was in place of where my Celsius is. I just grabbed it and drank a whole truly on antibiotics on my way to the gym. While you were driving. While I was driving. You were drinking and driving. <laughs> I didn't, clearly I didn't look into the can. Oh my I didn't God. even look at the can. I, that's so funny. You didn't even look at the can. No. Were you on the phone while you were getting the can? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when I do stuff like that, it's when I like that's when you lock your keys out. You Ugh, make all the I mistakes. I do that stuff all the time mm-hmm. because I'm either I'm on the phone or I'm I'm never. Whenever I'm doing those kind of routine things, mm-hmm. I'm always somewhere else. Me too. Like either on the phone or like mentally just not thinking about what I'm doing. <laughs> And oh my god! So you grabbed it, and then you're just drinking the truly. <laughs> I, I actually took my antibiotic with the truly. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Did you do you remember getting any weird stares on the road? No, but when I realized there was a there was a cop right there while I was on the phone with my brother. Oh my god! You were like, and I was just like, it. I we were dying laughing. I wonder if you <laughs> told, if the cop pulled you over and you were like, no, I thought this was a Celsius. <laughs> And they're like, ma'am, you have a problem. I had that entire thought conversation with myself in the head. Oh my god! I was like, what would would I would he believe me? Yeah, he would probably not. Oh my god, that is so funny. And then I looked at that when I got home. They both had like the the black tops. 
Oh, wow. With the black little... The Celsius did too. Yeah. And the Truly. And they were white with the blue fonts. They were the same flavors. Oh, man. That's that's on purpose. <laughs> I feel like they are trying to make Celsius, you know, look like it's mm-hmm. alcohol. Which, when I wasn't drinking, yeah. as I like to take little breaks, the Celsius was the best when I was going out. Yeah. I was like, I'm like, whoop, whoop, Amped, whoop. yeah. Which I find it silly that when you're drinking alcohol, you'll just just go Mm -hmm. but when you're drinking like celsius or energy or something else you're like i shouldn't have more than one (laughs) yeah i was thinking about this the other day same thing with diet coke like i mean like if you had you know nine drinks of alcohol you'll probably throw up but you'll probably you might be okay (laughs) i mean for you you might throw up right (laughs) yeah nine yeah that's a lot maybe like especially if it was liquor okay let's say five and then you had five Celsius, <laughs> five Celsius. You have to go to the hospital. <laughs> you cannot. But five, you know, drinks for the most part, you'll be fine. Same thing with Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. If I if I have I love Diet Coke. <laughs> so do I. But if I have nine Diet Cokes, dead mm-hmm. on the ground. <laughs> but but nine beers, I'm fine. I, I think our bodies have just adjusted. <laughs> but one is actually poison. But that doesn't kill you. You know, the alcohol is poison yeah. in some, I mean, that's why you're getting drunk because it's, you know, and then Diet Coke is not poison, but that, or Celsius is not poison. It's just your body can't handle it. You can't handle it. Wow. <sighs> Crazy. I guess we just have to get wasted. Yeah, I guess we, <laughs> I guess we should just drink some beers. <laughs> on the way to the gym. Yeah. And then I, I, on my way, I was taking a Pilates class and I usually don't do classes but I wasn't I wasn't feeling like ready to do my normal workout. Yeah. I had to pee like fifteen minutes in because of the truly. <laughs> you're like, sorry, I just broke the seal. <laughs> Ma'am, you're drunk. Uh, I know. <laughs> what so up? sick. What kind of class was it? It was just like regular Pilates class. Yeah. Which those classes like I do weightlifting, so like I'm like, I like, get crazy. And then uh these classes are so easy for me. Because they're just, I don't know. It's just your body weight. Yeah, it's just your body weight. Yeah. And then the other day I went to get a smoothie after, which I never do, but my throat was, was like, well. Yeah. And the girl after me was like, oh my God, were you in that bar class? Was, and I was like, yeah. She's like, that instructor was so great. And then I hate when I come like full personality. I was like, oh my God, there used to be this really flamboyant guy on Saturdays. I would kick your ass. Like he was so much better. You would leave and you'd be like, da. And then I don't realize like she's just looking at me like, and then she looks at me and she goes, I like today's instructor. Oh my God. <laughs> Firm in her stance. And I was like, just, yeah. What, were you so amped because you were a little buzzed? Or, I think it was just after the class and after my workouts, I always have like a good high. Nice. Yeah, me too. But I was like, don't just chill when you talk to people you don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, you just be yourself no matter <laughs> who's in front of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I um I played basketball today in preparation for the pod. Oh, did it help get you get ready? Yeah, I just... Get all the angst out of the way. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm just kind of calm, you know, calm, but ready. That's great. That's yeah. a good feeling. Yeah. Huh. I'm on a real fitness grind. Are you? Yeah, lately. Do you Do you and your wife do like... Yeah, we've been... Kicking it together? Yeah, we've been, we've been a little bit. I mean, we do this... There's this one lady online called Caroline Gervin. Okay, I'll look her She's up. an Irish lady. And she has all these different videos, but she has this one thing called the Iron Series. Ooh. And it's like 30 minute workouts. It's like weightlifting. It's six weeks. And like the results are nuts. <laughs> like n- truly nuts. Like what the, if you look up before and after Caroline Gervin Iron Ooh. Series, they're fucking crazy. Okay. I love um, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So we've been doing, we'll do that together. But I also do Orange Theory. So I'll do that, do that. Nice. And then I'll like go climb with her. Um, That's a perfect climbs. variation. Yeah. Mix that. I'll play basketball a little bit too. But I, I, I just went like all my 20s. Like I just, I, I worked out a lot in high school because of sports. Mm-hmm. What and did you play? Basketball. Yeah. I was going to guess that. But. And I was like really <laughs> serious about it. And then, like, once I got to high school, uh, college, I was like, fuck that. I just want to, like, chill mm-hmm. and, like, eat whatever I want and just, like, <laughs> never exercise. And I, you know, I took that, I carried that point of view for, um, I don't know, 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's great. Yeah. That's a good job. Yeah. I mean, I would like play basketball <laughs> here and there in my like late twenties, but I didn't like really exercise, you know, for your like actual health. Yeah. It's um, kind of like it was like your strict parent in high school. Then in college, yeah. you're like, don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to lose all my abs. <laughs> How about that, dad? <laughs> um, and That's then good, in my though. 30s, I'm going to desperately try to get them back. <laughs> it's going to be hard. Yeah. I'm going to do Orange Theory. I'm yeah. going to climb. And then I'll play basketball. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do like three days. Really? I'll do Orange Theory class in the morning. And then I'll go climb in the afternoon. And then I'll lift. Oh. I, That's crazy. I can't do that anymore. No, hurts, I like but, doing that, yeah. though. I get so addicted to working I know. Out. I'm addicted. It's like <laughs> another drug. There's too many things that are like drugs. <laughs> There's too many things you can get addicted to <laughs> these days. It's crazy. I know. Your cell phone. Netflix. Netflix. Um, your podcast. Oh, well, my God. The podcast. We talked about this. Yeah. It is an addiction. It's an addiction. It's. I mean, but it's. But I don't know. There's good addictions and there's bad addictions, yeah. obviously. <laughs> right. But you still have to find moderation. Yeah. Because when I first started this podcast, I remember, like, I was... This was before Matt and I lived together, but... I would be at his place editing mm -hmm. and he'd be like cooking and I'd be like ignoring him. It wasn't like that bad, but I felt like I was no, like yeah. that like, and like if you watch like a movie and you're like the workaholic that is ignored yeah. their spouse. Yeah. You're like, um, and Hathaway and a devil wears Prada. I can't believe you said that yeah. because that's what I was thinking. But that fucking <laughs> Adrian Grenier in that movie is such a fucking mope. Which one was? He's plays the, um, is that the guy? He plays the, her boyfriend in it. Okay, the blonde guy. From, no, from uh, the guy from. Uh, am I saying is it the guy from Entourage and she's all and not she's all that? Uh, you drive me crazy. Why am I blanking on him? Yeah, I'll you, have to look him up. You know, but like in that movie, he's like her boyfriend and she just got this new job and she's yeah. the scene you're describing mm. and he's like, man, you're gonna miss my birthday again. <laughs> And it's like, dude, I'm working for the like the head of Vogue. This like, is my dream. What like, do you expect? Fuck off. <laughs> like, you don't even work. What do you do? You're cooking me dinner. I paid for those fucking ingredients. Oh. Not, I'm not saying that to you in that. But, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. know. Yeah, but, yeah. He's out there crying. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, she's doing her podcast again. Yeah. No, but it is like you had to like, I have to, had to realize like pretty quickly on like this could be overwhelm my like take over my life yeah yeah and i have to know when to stop and just yeah yeah, yeah. put I, it aside i know Ugh, it's hard it's hard um to create those boundaries with yourself um yeah i try to it seems like right now for me the morning like eight uh nine to like one is like when I do all my podcast stuff. That's great. Get it out of the way. But the struggle is like you have to. It's an everyday thing. It is an everyday thing. It does thing. feel just to keep up with, you know, like from everything. You know, we've talked about this at the show we did. But just like you have to be uploading and posting like every day. Mm -hmm. And I guess like you can if you're optimizing your time, you can do like a couple days of work in one period ideally mm -hmm. like if you're editing a clip you're doing like two so you have you know so it's you don't have to do it every day but you have stuff for every day so getting better at that i think is is important but yeah it's like sunday or saturday and it's like no i need nine to one to fucking edit my podcast it's like saturday and sunday are like big relationship days yeah or like just fun they're just days where you really should just go enjoy your life a little bit but. yeah we try to do that on the weekends as well but lately like last sunday we Luckily, like we were both doing it. Yeah. But now it, it, you guys will like work on your stuff at like, the same together. time. Yeah, that's fun. It's not, oh. but <laughs> it is. Um, it is more fun than not. Together. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it is. It is true. Like I keep trying to get ahead, and I just I've gotten good at getting it done in time without being stressed. Yeah. But not like where I'm like way ahead. Yeah, I mean, I think for me, what helps is like obviously like try your best. That's great. But also remember, no one who's a fan of the pod or anything you do would like needs you to to be so stressed to yeah. be a fan. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not like, <laughs> um, Mandy. It's Thursday at eleven a.m. Where the fuck is the podcast? You know what I mean? Like, mm. like so. Like for example, like we'll have like release. We'll try to release on Thursday. So I try to be a straight A student and have it done on like Wednesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. But sometimes 
if it's going to kill me, I'll just fucking edit it Thursday and release it Thursday afternoon. And it's not the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, if someone's just like, <laughs> um, this is bullshit. Unsubscribe. Taking my Patreon money. <laughs> I'm out. I'm here for timeliness. <laughs> I'm here for timeliness. On yours, they'd be like, get out of bed. Yeah, get out of fucking bed, you lazy ass. <laughs> oh, it's probably because you're still in bed. <laughs> um, uh, you know what's a, t- a, a TikTok comment? This is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, we can do one of your embarrassing things. Um, but I have other ones, but I just okay. made me think of this. Yeah. Because I prepared. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before. Um, hopefully I remember. But... Uh, Sometimes on our TikTok, we'll get comments that's like, in quotes, let's start a podcast. I've gotten that exact comment. P- oh. We're so rude. It's like every every podcast <laughs> started somewhere. Every podcast just started with someone being like, I, I, I'm going to start a podcast. <laughs> How else would it start? You know, it's like, and then these people are like, fuck, fuck you. Let's start a podcast. Well, it's just like, I'm sorry, I'm taking a chance, you know, putting myself out there, working, making something, working, mm-hmm. putting it out there. Like, why? Are, people should be in support of that. They should be. And if they're not, then keep scrolling. Yeah, scroll. Scroll. Just scroll. Like it and then and then scroll. Yeah. Ugh, yeah, I, I'm getting that. <laughs> first time i got that yeah it really hit yeah I, well at first i was like what does that mean i know it was the weird one and then i was like oh i i get what they're saying <laughs> they said for mine it was um People it was so mean I, there's, oh god yeah. they're so mean uh they said let's they put in this is the quotes yeah. too <laughs> yeah i said uh hey let's go buy pot let's go um, buy all this um, material. Let's go buy stuff to start a podcast or yeah. something like oh, yeah, that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go buy stuff to start a podcast. Yeah, yeah. It's so it's so rude. Well, so those are the same people like in high school that would like make fun of the kids that like cared about like learning. That's true. And I was one of those <laughs> kids who made fun of them, and I regret it. I regret it. You were the bully. I wasn't the bully, but I definitely wasn't like. I could have tried harder in high school. Like I thought Me it was too. like lame to try hard. I wasn't Same. the one making fun of them, but I was the one who was hearing them them make fun of someone else and being like, "Oh, I want to be cool, <laughs> so I'm not gonna try as hard." And I regret it. Mm. I, I I I always think about this. I wish I would have like really leaned into my academics. I don't regret <laughs> it. Whatever. <laughs> I guess. Like I guess. <laughs> I don't this know is my I, biggest regret. Is it? No, 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 no. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> then you're doing great in yeah. life. My, what was your? How am I doing here? Is this okay? Yeah, it's okay. great. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember my GPA, but um, I think it was like a 2.3 or 2.5. Wow, I love that. <laughs> it, it's you know I love it because it just shows that that never comes up in real life mm-hmm. because in my in the couple weeks that I've known you. <laughs> I've just, it's just never, I've never been like, oh, I bet she has a two point. You know, it's like, it doesn't ever come up. It's never a problem. Also, look at all this shit you figured out. <laughs> yeah. YouTube. We don't need school anymore. Yeah. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Heard of it? I don't <laughs> do, need. Do you hate school, but love being on your phone? <laughs> yeah. Um, mine was in high school at 3.7. But what my. Do you- <laughs> But my, I <laughs> know, you're like, what do you mean? I, I, t- I was kidding about the 2.3. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was a total lie. Oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I got good. I got bad grades. And I, I was say, like, you got the best. G- I, that was a, such a good GP. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's like A minus, B plus. But like, it's not a big deal. But um, my SAT scores were abysmal because I'm, really? yeah, I'm a bad test taker. And I also, I think I have a little bit of a learning disability. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know with that 3.7. Um, well, I just try so hard. <laughs> I really, I, I, but I, I guess I, I tried hard, but I didn't like, I wasn't, I wasn't self-aware and being like, I'm going to want to, like, I, I want to learn this. You know what I mean? Like mm. being open to it. Like now when I, you know, for example, the podcast, like if I took a class in podcasting, I would just like try to learn it because I'm going to have to take a test and I just want to get it done with. Mm-hmm. Whereas like now when I learn something, I'm like, I really want to retain it. Same. And I wish I had that because there's probably so many things I would know 
from my <laughs> academics <laughs> that See, I don't know. That's the thing. It's nothing that we ever wanted to know. Yeah, I guess you're or right. Or needed to know. I don't know. There's some English literature I really wish I would have taken advantage of. I mean, I don't know what literature <laughs> is. <laughs> But I'm sure she's cool. Yeah. <laughs> she is cool. She's a cool lady. I still can't believe you said you had bad grades. Yeah. No, I didn't have bad grades. I didn't have bad grades. You, just, you said you wish you tried harder. I wish I tried even harder. And I, and I took that as... Like, bad. You did not... Do good. Yeah. Do well, well I'm very, shall I say. I'm very also very self-conscious because I went to Arizona State and, you know, everyone. Oh, great school. Well, no. no. <laughs> I don't really know anything about well, Arizona the, State. I feel like the only thing people know is like it's like the most, the easiest school to get into. Oh, really? Yeah. You need like a 1.7 GPA or something. <laughs> but that's if you're, but like. I whatever. I, I don't even want to talk. I don't hey, want to talk about let's this. move on. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna move on. Um oh, wait, wait, did you think of a wiener? Uh a weekly wiener? Yes. Wh- which one is that? So a person or thing or anything that like a pet peeve that bugged you yes, more than I it have should one. have. All right. Let's get into the weekly wiener. So <laughs> so la- two weeks ago I was in Big Five Sporting Goods. Oh, great. Checking out. It's like the Winn Dixie of of uh grocery stores. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, uh, there was this old guy behind me and I can, he was just getting really impatient Mm -hmm. that he was waiting and I, and I, but it was like, there was nothing, (laughs) there was no inefficiency going on. It just, he had to wait. And I, I really got so fucking annoyed with this guy. I'm like, what dude, relax. Yeah. He was like, five. He was like huffing and puffing. I'm just like, dude, like if you're in such a rush, what are you doing here? Yeah, leave. There also there was no one else in the store. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, ugh, relax. Why are you so I really don't like when people are in like such a rush that they forget about like humanity. That like yes. there's people just trying their best and they have their own shit they're dealing with and they're just, you know, whatever. They're having a fucking bad day, but you're just so consumed in yourself. And you're just so impatient. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't know. I rarely am I, I I try never to be in that like state of mind where I'm like so upset about something that I'm like also out in public and like annoyed at people, but I'm really just upset about whatever is going on in my life. Yeah. Like I try to set, like if I'm really that upset, I'm going to stay home Mm -hmm. or, you know, try to. But this guy, I mean, and he was, he had AirPods in. Really? Yeah. I'm just like, Dude, listen to your podcast. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. It was so, I mean, because he didn't like do anything. He didn't complain, mm-hmm. but like he was like, you know, like oh. you could just tell he was annoyed. He was just projecting very strongly. Yeah, he was just clearly like, why, why am I, why is it taking this long? And I will say I bought a basketball and <laughs> the person at the register did feel the need to pump up the basketball right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so maybe like that contributed to his annoyance. But I'm still like, it took 30 seconds. Yeah, I couldn't have taken that long. It took 30. That's, that's the thing. You get so annoyed about something that takes th- so like in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a minute of your time. You can't fucking sit here or stand here. In air conditioning, big five sporting goods. They got all the sporting goods you need. You, you came in, you picked out exactly what you wanted, and you're going to leave. All you have to do is wait in line for a fucking minute. Mm-hmm. Give me a break, partner. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. What was he buying? Did you see? He was buying, like, I think, like, something for golfing, like, some sort of, like, wrist thing, like, for arthritis. Uh, old fuck. Yeah, he was an old fuck. Ugh. Fuck these old people. Yeah, you need to chill. I wonder, like, with age, I feel like it's like a wave. Like, when you're younger, like, I had no patience. I got angry easier. Uh, And then it's like you work on it, and then you, like, grounded and patient. If you work on it. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, 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 if you work on it, yeah. And then does it just, like, go do a fuck it mode and go back down when you get older? I think what happens is you you get to a place where you've really controlled it, Mm -hmm. and you mistakenly think you're, like, an almighty God because of that. Yes. And then you, you kind of go and you become impatient again because you're the almighty God. You figured it out. Mm-hmm. 
why can't these people like I feel like it becomes that like you just become you think you're the best so anything that's not that's like below the best is an, becomes annoying to you um so it's like a kind of a messed up cycle yeah it's fucked up cuz I noticed that with my parents like they are you know they were not very as you know growing up they were patient people and now as they've gotten older they become <laughs> impatient mm -hmm. especially with things they don't understand you know, like technology or something, you know, if I'm trying to explain it to them, they're just like so, in, they get so impatient. And I'm like, I'm fucking <laughs> teaching how to do this. Relax. What are you freaking out about? Yeah, I think it's the cycle of life. We get patient to help them when they're not patient and they're patient when we're not patient. Yeah. And it's just, I guess, the way it needs to be. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I, I, I just like trying so hard to move through life and not like that old man, not be in this so focused on what you're doing and like if you're fucking if you're running late guy that's your problem mm. you should have left earlier yeah it's not anyone it's not the world's problem <laughs> that you're fucking late for you know your tea time yeah also golf sucks i just started oh my god <laughs> sorry <laughs> No, I just start. You, you can started say it playing. Sucks. Yeah, I haven't even made it to out yet. I did it like once back home. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just at the range, and okay. it is full of huffing and puffing old guys. Oh yeah, they're like, oh, and if you're, th this is one thing I don't like about golf is, it's not a very welcoming sport mm -hmm. because if you're, if I think like if your etiquette is off or you know like unknowingly, they get like so mad like the people playing behind you. That's the course I got to play on was in Florida, and it was a rundown course. The It was so bad. Like, you couldn't even really play because there was shit all in the ground. Yeah. But my brother was like, we have to take you here so no one is behind us. Yeah, so no <laughs> one gets mad. Yeah. But it's like, dude, God, uh, I mean, you want your sport to expand and, and be more accessible to the world? Fucking relax. Because mm -hmm. right now, the only people that like golf are rich white people. Rich old white people. Rich old white people. <laughs> which white old white people? <laughs> Today we'll be reading a book from which, which white, which white, white and old. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's good. You can't cut that. You gotta keep that. Up. Oh, so, it's exhausting. That's my wiener. That guy was a wiener. That's a perfect wiener. Yeah, it is a wiener. Yeah, people need to chill. But I like when you see people like that because it. I always take it in as what not to be and what not to do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and I just it's very amusing. It is. It's annoying, but also very funny <laughs> to watch this man be like, dude, you're freaking out right now. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm like I want to ask more questions to this register person because I want you to fucking freak out. Oh, actually, can I get another basketball? And can you pump it up? Yeah, can you pump that one up? Um, what kind of pump is that? Can I can I see it? Do you have any bowling balls? Yeah, do you have any bowling balls? Can I test them out in the store? Um, hold my spot in line, thanks, guy. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah, wieners are gonna be wieners. You gotta dig it into them. Dig the knife in. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not man. literally. I'm not a murderer, oh. but there's guns at that big five. Really? Yeah. In California. Oh yeah, there's a gun world in Burbank. I think I knew that. Yeah. But you wouldn't think like in a big five. No, in a big five in Studio City. Wow. In that big five yeah, in I Studio City, there's about. there's guns on the on the at the end. Well, you didn't want to piss him off then. <sighs> no, that guy wouldn't. That guy <laughs> wouldn't. He wouldn't bring heat. He wouldn't bring heat. Oh, man. Um, well, that was a good wiener. Um, and so you said you have embarrassing moments. Oh, yeah. That you of? Yeah, this thing happened to me a while ago um, that, oh, this is something that I didn't write a joke about, okay. right? Right, is that what you... One that you did and one that you didn't, okay. or whatever you feel like. Um, well, one that I did write a joke about that I think is funny is, <laughs> and it's disgusting, so oh, fair yay. warning. Um, <laughs> one time I like was masturbating. You can, you can say it proud. Okay. One time I was fucking jerking off. <laughs> and I, th this is like almost word for word from the bit, but I like realized I was wearing like a backwards snapback hat. <laughs> and it was, and when I realized it, I was like, oh my God. Like I, I caught myself in the mirror and I was like, I was like, who are you? I don't even know you. Oh. Like it was just so, and I was like, man, I just, so thankful no one saw me <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, and 
Uh, yeah, I mean, ugh. Men are disgusting. Like the conditions <laughs> we'll put up with while we jerk off is crazy. Also, did you know that most men jerk off at their desk? No. Yeah. Matt and I share a desk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, if this is true, but I've heard this. I've heard about this. I feel like it would make sense, say, in a household and exactly this apartment where it's in a separate room. Yeah, where else is he going to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Man. What Anyways. Are- uh, now every time you wear that hat, do you ima- do you remember this moment? <laughs> Anytime I wear a hat, I think about that. <laughs> I'm like, you have to take this off as soon as you get home. Oh no! Because you just, you know, I go into a um, what's that? A, a, a something state? A ro? What's that? A rest? Uh, not no, a resting a, state. A rogue? No, it's <sighs> no. Whatever. <laughs> it's not important. It's not important. But I go into a. You know, the zo- I go into a zone. The zone, the zone. That's <laughs> I'm it. I'm in the That's zone. It. In the zone. And I forget what what I'm doing, what what I'm wearing, where I am. <laughs> it's a problem. Um, I was in public when I was wearing that hat. By the way, no, I'm just kidding. Oh um, my god, wait. <laughs> no. So that's something. Uh, that's something I wrote a joke about, and something that uh is embarrassing that I haven't is I. I'm very naive or not as much anymore, but I really used to be. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten like money stolen before from me and like (laughs) fallen for like things on the internet. (laughs) And I have to like really, I it's, I'm up, I'm pretty skeptical now Mm -hmm. because of it. Cause the pendulum has swung the other way. (laughs) And, and it's like, I'm very like, I almost fell for a Taylor Swift ticket scam. Oh no. Uh, But like, so I saw a guy on Facebook post like, hey, give me one of these tickets, Taylor Swift. Like, um, I'm just trying to get some money back. I'm not looking to make a lot from it. Like, let me know what you want. And I DM'd him. I don't know this guy. I just saw him post on like Facebook for sale or whatever. So it was like a marketplace? It wasn't one of your friends? On no, 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 no. It was like a marketplace. Yeah. Okay. And then he DM'd me and he was like... Uh, he was like, where do you, I was like, oh, I'm interested in getting the Taylor Swift tickets. And he was like, okay, where do you want to sit? And I was like, I don't know. What do you have available? And he was like, these seats, 300 bucks total. Um, for two? For two. Oh, and Yeah, it's cheap. And uh, I just need your email. And then that the email is what kind of like, I'm like, why do you need my email? Yeah. And then I Googled like Taylor Swift facebook marketplace scam and it was like everywhere like really yeah it was like everywhere so i was like i compl- immediately blocked him but like that is something i would have fallen for <laughs> like or like in my 20s you know one time okay one one time on instagram i got one of those messages that was like you've won a thousand dollars and you thought that you did but the way this person did it felt real <laughs> It really did. It's like it was specific. They're professionals. Yeah, like he really like had like he made me feel like a winner. <laughs> oh. Um, and he like yeah ended up he's like I need your email and your phone number and whatever. And I I don't know if he asked this, but somehow I think he wanted me to change my email in my Instagram profile. To an email, he his email or something, so that I did it, and I got locked out of my Instagram account <gasps> for like a couple for like a day or so. Oh, thank God you got it back! And I and I yeah you know, somehow I got it back. I don't, but it was like this weird thing where like every time I signed in, <laughs> I'd get bumped out. It it was like I was like kept going in this loop of like getting signed in, getting bumped out, trying to change my email back to my email. It wouldn't let me. He would change it back to the email that he wanted. Oh my god! It was really really weird. Um, but yeah, I fell for that. You really thought? How? Why did you think you won a thousand dollars? Because sometimes I'm like, you know what? Maybe uh, maybe I do deserve this. <laughs> um, it sucks that people have to be so shitty. I know. I I I I'm, now I don't trust anything. Do you remember when you were a kid and there was the house phone when you would answer and they'd say that you won oh, something? Yeah. I would sprint into my parents' room. I'd be like, Mom, Dad, we won. Oh, my God. Like, we won a cruise. <laughs> it was always a cruise. Yeah. And then you're like, and then it comes with so many like loopholes and attachments. Yeah. And, and they'd be like, no, you didn't win. A, they're like, when your parents would say no, you'd be like, 
I did. They're on the phone yeah. right now. Why would they just call me? <laughs> they called me. They say, hey, Mandy. Um, yeah, that happened once. One time I went into New York City to get a fake ID. I was 18. And I went with my friend Max. And we got to this because he knew about this place. It was like a smoke shop in the East Village that like mm-hmm. in the back they made fake IDs. And they were scannable too. Oh. Yeah. And, was there a hologram? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I went with him. We got there like early in the morning because I like, if I was going to like get away from my parents for a long time, like I needed to go early, you mm-hmm. know, because they wouldn't want me to be out in the city that late. Um, unless I was having a sleepover. Anyways. <laughs> so we go, <laughs> we go early and there's this guy, uh, the store's not open and there's like a guy kind of waiting around the store and he goes hey you guys looking for a fake id and we were like yeah and he was like oh yeah we we shut this location down um we're working on a we have another location around the block like i'm supposed to wait here and take people there okay. and we were like oh okay i mean the fact that he knew all those details it yeah. seems real yeah so oh no we follow him around <laughs> start following him around the block and like my friend is like kind of hanging back and I'm like talking to him and he's like mumbling and I can't, I can't hear him, but I'm just like, Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Like I'm just, I don't even know what he's saying. Like he's really just trying to make conversation, but I cannot hear really what he's saying. And finally, like we're, we're getting around the block. We approach uh, uh, a subway, <laughs> like a food restaurant. Oh yeah. And he goes, Okay, I need – he was like, so who's getting a fake ID? And I was like, me. And he's like, okay, I need your friend to go into the subway and take your phone with you because um, we just don't want – like the cops can like track our – the phones and then we could get busted. So we just – we can't have that. Oh my god, this is terrifying. So I was like, okay. <laughs> I, I, give him, I give him the phone. And my friend goes inside the subway and waits and him and I, and I walk with this guy, like another like storefront and it's a, uh, printing supplies store. Legit. Yeah. You're printing something. Yeah. (laughs) He goes in there. He says, wait out here. He goes in there, he comes out and he gives me a ticket. Uh, like one of those, like, you know, lottery tickets, 50, 50 lottery. Okay. He gives me one of those and he's like, okay, keep walking. So. Um, he's like, oh, and he's like, at th- this is what happened at that printing place too. He's like, I need, need the money for the fake ID and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to, they have a counterfeit like checking system and, uh, I'm going to check it. So I'm like, okay, I give him the money. He goes in there. He says, my money's good. He gives me the ticket. <laughs> oh. He has my money now. Uh, it's $180. All right. So he's walking, we're, we're walking another storefront. We get to a corner store and he goes, okay, take your ticket. Go into this corner store. Go all the way to the end. There'll be a guy there waiting for you. Tell him Kim sent you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, your your friend's like two meatball subs in. Yeah, he's just like <laughs> plowing down sub sandwiches. I guess everything's working out for Noah. Um, and then, um, so I walk into this corner store. I go all the way down. I make a left. I'm in like the bread aisle. There's no one there. I walk down. I'm in like the frozen food section. <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on? Still, I'm I'm not aware of anything. <laughs> that guy is gone. The, the guy who walked me around. The, the guy with the money? With, with your money? Yeah, with my money. <laughs> Still not aware at all. I turn again. No, there's no one there. And then I'm like, okay, like, and then I just like start walking around. I'm like, Kim's in. <laughs> like I'm saying I'm whispering out loud because I'm thinking someone's around my hear it <laughs> like some trap door is gonna open up Kim, I'm like literally walking around this corner store Kim sent me <laughs> nothing's happening obviously <laughs> I walk up to the guy at the register and he's like can I help you and I'm like yeah Kim sent me and he's like what the fuck are you talking about and then I finally, like, oh, <laughs> I've been fucking robbed. Mm. I go to the subway and tell Max. And he's like, what? <laughs> and then we end up going back to the to the smoke shop, like, around the block. Mm. And uh, it's open. 
No. And we walk in and we're like, can we get a fake ID? And we're like, but they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, and we're like, this thing happened. This guy stole my money. Like, can I? And he was like, oh, that fucking guy. Like, we keep trying to like get the, get, like, get here before him to stop him. But no he, he's way. done this like all week. So, what? yeah, isn't that crazy? So you had to pay double. So I had to pay like 360, 360 <laughs> for a fake ID. And it it's, en- ends up getting very funny because when I went to college, I threw that <laughs> fake ID out because my dad was like, he sat me down before I went to college and was just like, look, you're going to get into a lot of stuff when you go to college, but do not use a fake ID. <laughs> and I was very like paranoid about it so i threw it out in the airport on my way to arizona oh no <laughs> and then two years later I, I get another fake id and i get arrested for it no yeah so i've had a real up and down journey with fake ids no way yeah yeah was it i know that i remember they would say if it was was it your picture or not your picture it was my picture yeah because they said it, if it's your picture you get more in more trouble yeah. than if it's somebody else's yeah yeah did you get out of it or were you like- uh, I had to like do community service and like oh, that kind of no. stuff. Yeah. And I had to like pay a really big fine. That sucks. How did you get caught? You don't have to get fully into it, but where um, was it? Well, I was at ASU and I went to the tailgate and I didn't have tickets to the football game. So I went with some of my friends who were of age to Buffalo Wild Wings <laughs> to watch the game. Um, in the first quarter, I ordered a drink with my fake ID. I drink it and then... I don't have another beer because I'm pretty fucked up already. By the fourth quarter, the, it's just an empty glass in front of me. And these guys come up to our table dressed in Budweiser trucker outfits. <gasps> and they're like, hey, is that your beer? Very casually. And I'm like, uh, no, it's his beer. To my friend walking up from um, going to the bathroom who was 21. Oh, smart. And, they're, and they ask him right away. Hey, is that your beer? And my friend's like, no, that's his beer. Because he didn't know. Damn it. He didn't know. He didn't hear it. Yeah. yeah. And then they're like, well, whose beer is it? And I just like felt caught. And I didn't know. It. You know they just stood there waiting for someone to answer. And I was like, it's my beer. And they're like, well, can we see your ID? And that guy was just caught. Like, Damn. Um, yeah. Did you th- turn like bright red? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I they, they took that fake ID. They breathalyzed me. I blew like so high, <laughs> like a point two five or something, which I think is high. I don't know. I was really fucked up. And then it gets even better. The place you order the fake ID from, idchief.com. <laughs> <laughs> they um they give you two two with your what order a deal. right so the guy the cop's writing up my ticket and i go and i think about like my dad and like ugh, that when he warned me and and i just was like i never want to be in this situation again so uh, as the cops like writing up my ticket i take another fake id <laughs> out of my pocket and i'm like by the way officer this one's also mine i don't want to ever be tempted to use this again <laughs> So here you go. And the cop was like, oh, I really wish you didn't give me this. <laughs> Cause now I have to, he was like, this is so much worse. He was like, okay, I'm going to put this in my pocket and pretend you never gave it to me. <laughs> this is so much worse. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, now I have to charge you with the same crime again. <laughs> it's like getting pulled over for speeding and you just hand them weed. <laughs> yeah. Like, sorry. Uh, do you want a hit of this? Um, oh, that's so sweet of you, though. So, yeah. So that's really embarrassing. And I've never really told I haven't told a joke about it yet. I feel like I should. But those stories are hard to work on. I think there's so much with all of that. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's so original and it really ha- it's got everything that you need for yeah. great jokes. Yeah, when I have a longer set, I need to w- work on cuz I have a lot of st- story like that the embarrassing thing like I connected so much when you're saying cuz it's like my whole life. Mm-hmm. I'm I've just I've, I was really naive growing up. <laughs> like for whatever reason, gu- you know, naive is the right word, gullible. Yeah. Gullible is the right. I'm like and I still am kind of gullible. So I just fall for things. I'm easy to pick on like um well, you're doing this podcast, and it's actually not – I don't even post it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, my heart dropped. <laughs> that is, like, my biggest fear that I'm just – my whole – my time is wasted. Oh. My wife's not even actually married to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great, though. I mean, I would, you could do a whole special with the point of view of being gullible. Gullible, yeah. You could call it gullible. You could call it gullible. 
Oh man, I think I just came up with my one man show. How? I'm off to Edinburgh. I was just gonna say that. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, it's a good idea. It really is. It's a there, because I think a lot. I think there are a lot of us. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I do feel like there are two types of people. There's like gullible people, and then the people that aren't gullible. gullible. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Skeptical. Mm-hmm. You know, like I really, and I feel like most people are skeptical. I think so. Yeah. And I'm now, I, I like the gullibleness of, of of me. I think it's sweet. But I when it like really gets in the way of my life, that's a problem. Yeah. But you're figuring it out. Yeah, I guess so. You've learned the hard way multiple times. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's like those feelings. It's just like what I said, why I've done got into comedy just that uncomfortable like i don't know if i was as much as gullible as it was like just feeling uncomfortable Uh uh-huh like uh, feeling dumb like not understanding what people are talking about or just like just like embarrassing myself all the time yeah well like saying too much or like saying something that alludes to you not understanding something yeah just little things like Ugh, that me too and it's just that it just like it's such like a childhood feeling yeah it's the worst feeling <laughs> well i like work with a lot of people who are older than me and i am always just fucking looking like an idiot in front of them always and it and, it, and it, it's frustrating because i'm like I, I, this isn't <laughs> stupid like you know what i mean like like something will happen i'll be like you guys for some reason somehow i've landed in this position where like it's like the worst thing to say at the worst time to the worst people. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? And it's like, if I said this to anyone else, they would totally get it. Yeah. But for some reason, you fucks <laughs> are, are like making fun of me for this thing that like would totally go everyone else's head. Yep. Ugh. Oh, that feeling. I just started just writing actually this week because I'm trying to like hone in on just more of things that are like me to a core. Like, yeah, yeah. Exactly like your goalable stuff. And like just writing about being ditzy. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, it feels just like it feels so good even just to write about. Yeah. Just like in a journaling sense. Yeah. Cathartic. Yeah. I'm like I always do things. And it's when I like we talked about like when you're on the phone, like do it multitasking and yeah. then you don't think. But sometimes I'm not even on the phone, but I'm like somewhere else. Or yeah. I'm just thinking about like all the things I have to do. Mm-hmm. And I'm just not thinking. Yeah. And I'll just say something so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. You're just like, yeah, I totally like I would eat. So I would eat dolphins. <laughs> I know. I need uh, to start writing it down because it happens all the time. But yeah. then when I went to write a list, I think it happens and I let it go. Yeah. Or I just like try not to remember what I just said. Yeah. So now I'm like, every time I do something ditzy, I need to write down the example. Like the other day I tried leaving the pool area with a key when you don't need a key to leave it. Just like <laughs> Matt's like, what are you doing? I'm like. <laughs> today. Today I was got out of my car, wa- walking up to my apartment, front door. I take the car key <laughs> and I try to unlock the door. <laughs> I swear to fucking God, I, I exactly hit the unlock what button. what I'm talking about. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I hit the unlock button to unlock my front door. Oh my God. I literally, I was like, I stood there. I took that in. I really let it, My, I was like, you need to sit in this. This can never happen again. That's what I do too. I, I recognize it happens and I, and I, think wow <laughs> and then i go okay that's kind of yeah. funny let's move on <laughs> have you ever been um on the phone while you're cleaning mm-hmm. and then you end up putting like your milk in like the closet yes <laughs> you know you're like Ugh. it happens we're doing a lot we you are, know we're doing too much and there's a lot going on in the world there's a lot to there's a lot to deal with so it, it's normal it's yeah, fine it's fine it's fine we don't have alzheimer's Oh, God, I know. I, I've talked about it on many episodes where I'm always so worried because of my memory. Tumor? <laughs> I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. <laughs> Did you see that? that? It's from Family Guy. Oh. He gets a tumor and oh, then yeah. his tumor becomes a little baby Peter. <laughs> and then he goes, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. <laughs> no, I like that, though. Yeah, solid episode. Um, oh, man, well, we've got some jokes to write. Yeah, we do. We really do. I'm excited about your stuff, though. Yeah. You really, there's so much there. Those are the stories of, like, when you hear them, you'll remember them, like, when you leave a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's something that no one else can do. It's also, uh, it. I, I love doing crowd work into a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is a good, I think there's 
a lot of people have had that sort of situation, so you could have some good crowd work into the story. Oh, for sure. Um, I got caught with my fake ID, too. Ugh. It was at a tailgate because I didn't have tickets for a football game as well. Wow. Yeah. Wh where'd you go to school? I went to school in a UCF after oh, cool. community college. I had to do my two years since right. my uh, high school grades. And then I went to UCF, but we went to the Florida Georgia game. Mm -hmm. And it's like the biggest tailgate in the country. Yeah. And UF. Uh, UF first, um, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what was the other team's yeah. name? <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and it was based, I didn't get in trouble, luckily, but, um, I don't, I was so drunk. I feel like I could have remembered it wrong, but in my memory of what happened was they kept saying this was my sister when it was a fake Georgia ID with my face. Mm-hmm. I don't know, yeah. but I didn't get in trouble. Like, oh, that's they good. kept it, but I'm like, I just remember thinking like, they thought it was my sister. And, but I don't think they could have because it was like, the, the hologram was keys. Yeah, yeah. They weren't that dumb. Maybe yeah. they were just messing with me and keeping me like locked in the thing for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're And you're from Florida. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of fake IDs there. And then Ugh. my other one after I lost that one was my friend's older sister that looked nothing like me. Yeah. She was a white girl, but like she looked a lot older. Yeah, yeah. And they'd ask me my birthday. She had gray hair. Yeah, she, yeah, it was, it was not me. <laughs> <laughs> and she had a whole mustache. And yeah. I'm like, where'd that come from? Yeah, yeah. And uh, they'd be like, oh, I went somewhere on her, on her birthday. And they were like, happy birthday. And like knowing it wasn't me. And I was like, <laughs> 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 oh my god that's so funny the whole the waiters come out and could you imagine sing you happy birthday oh i don't fake ids are so uncomfortable i know just make the drinking age 18 i mean we can do so many other things yeah oh yeah totally what was the one thing i said we shouldn't be able to do at 18 i was just watch porn no that just started at 11 but <laughs> <laughs> no that yeah we started them early yeah you gotta leave, yeah we need to you these need men's it. minds need to melt <laughs> the first time they see a vagina they should have no idea what it is <laughs> I feel like a, a boy's first time seeing boobs versus a girl's first time seeing a penis is the polar opposite oh yeah or vagina oh my God. to penis whatever the f yeah first penis i'm sure you've seen is in real penis <laughs> and you're scared or you're happy <laughs> Or both. Or both. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, well, I want to uh, show you the autopod stuff. I'm going to show them the AI stuff that's yeah. been nailing it. I've mentioned it before, but oh, cool. the, the multi cam uh, autopod editor is pretty sick if anyone at home has a podcast. Um, but thank you so much for doing the yeah. episode. Is there anything you'd like to plug? Uh, just come over to listen to our podcast yeah. too. Uh, the Bedtime Podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. And yeah. And he's on episode three. <laughs> yeah. We've only done three episodes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.